Hello viewers. In this lecture, we will try to understand how we can design a MATLAB code for three numerical schemes that have been proposed in the research paper whose title is Novel Numerical Method for Solving Variable Order Fractional Differential Equations with Power, Exponential, and Mittag Leffler Laws. The paper was published in 2018 by these authors. The basic aim of this research paper was to present three numerical schemes under variable order fractional operator. So, in the first section of this research paper, authors have given introduction related to fractional calculus with constant order and as well as fractional calculus with variable order. Some basic definitions have been provided in the second section containing level Caputo fractional derivative with variable order alpha of t that you can see is defined by equation 2.1. Then Caputo Fabrizio derivative with variable order 2.2. Later Atangana Baliano fractional derivative with variable order defined by equation. 2.3. In section 3, they have presented two differential systems called financial system and MEM capacitor based circuit. Later, in section 4, they have discussed about the variable order fractional financial system and this circuit system with the fractional derivative. So you can see that. The fractional derivatives are used in both of these systems and in the subsection of 4.1.1 they have now presented a numerical scheme for the first system called financial system in the level caputo sense but with variable order. So the numerical scheme is shown by equation 4.10. You can see equation 4.10 contains three equations because the financial system has three equations. So this is the numerical scheme with the variable order fractional operator under Caputo fractional differential operator. Then they have presented another numerical scheme with the Caputo Fabrizio operator. So their scheme is now denoted by, as you can see, where I'm hovering my cursor, this is a scheme under CFC operator. So this equation is 4.19. Finally, Atangana Baliano Caputo fractional differential operator with variable order is presented by equation. 4.27 and it has three equations once again financial system proposed or given by the authors contains three equations and then they have repeated these calculations for the second differential system they have chosen called this mem capacitor based circuit system Finally, they have presented some graphical simulations for both of these systems under these three new numerical schemes with variable order fractional operator. And then they have given some statements that variable order has been chosen arbitrarily, initial conditions have been provided, simulation time taken by them is 300 seconds. And the step size chosen by them is 0 0.01 with some parameters that they have shown in table 1 and as well as in table 2. And finally, the conclusion is given in which they have said that in order to develop the numerical schemes, basically they have used 
fundamental theorem of fractional calculus and Lagrange polynomial interpolation technique. So we will discuss about the MATLAB code, how the MATLAB code can be designed for the numerical schemes that they have proposed. Now, before I discuss about the MATLAB code for these three new numerical schemes under variable order fractional operator, let me tell you something about fractional calculus, its constant version, and as well as its variable version. So, the audience or the researchers who have been working in this field, they know that the fractional calculus refers to the study of differential and integral operators of either real or complex order. And the first documented discussion of fractional order differentials are the letters that were exchanged between Labnus and L'Hopital in 1695, in which they had the discussion about the meaning and the interpretation of the fractional order derivative where the order was alpha and alpha was considered to be a non-integer number. Several mathematicians contributed later to the development of fractional calculus, including Lewell, Riemann, Abel, Reeves, Weil, Caputo, and many others. Although this branch of fractional calculus is started almost simultaneously to its integer order counterpart, the mathematics and especially its applications are considerably less developed. Many factors have contributed to this result, including the lack of methodologies to link both the geometrical and physical properties of a system to the corresponding order of the fractional operator. An interesting aspect of these operators is their intrinsic multi-scale nature. As a result, time fractional operators enable memory effects. For, that is, the response of a system is a function of its past history, while space fractional operators enable non-local and scale effects. Although the constant order fractional calculus formalism is capable to addressing some very relevant physical problems, it cannot capture important classes of physical phenomena where the order itself is a function of either dependent or independent variables. Variable order operators can be seen as a natural analytical extension of constant order operators. In variable order operators, the order can vary continuously as a function of either dependent or independent variables of integration or differentiation, such as time, space, or even of, a, of an independent external variable, for example, temperature or applied loads. Although the extension from constant order operators to variable order operators may seem somewhat natural, the first definitions of these operators were given by two mathematicians, Sumko and Roth, in 1993. So I would recommend that you should uh, read these authors. Now to sh understand the MATLAB code, I will start its complete discussion next time for the numerical schemes that were proposed in that research paper. Finally, I would request you to like, share and, and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching.